You know the meme that goes, uh, YouTuber says I've been mining off camera? Well, I've been doing a little bit of mining off camera. Uh, well, I, I, I say a little bit. You can't see the other side of where I've been digging. I've just been digging a huge, huge hole underground. It's not efficient in any way whatsoever, but who cares? Um, I'm actually going to collect this little bit of gold here because uh, for a project that I have in mind, maybe not today's episode, but in a later episode, we're going to need a bit of gold. There's a little bit more gold here as well. And gold is important because it's one of the, <laughs> actually one of the key ingredients for the uh, machine that I want to be building then. Um, because, yeah, gears and all that kind of thing. Anyway, mining has been sorted. We're actually going to need a decent storage area, which I've not built yet. You see, up here is my current storage system. Yeah, I'm, I, it's still around Christmas time. It's actually 15 minutes of Boxing Day left. Boxing Day being the 26th of uh, December, if you're not in a country that follows that kind of thing, I guess. So yeah, all of the chests look like presents, which I think is awesome. But yeah, I've got stone-related items, uh, raw ores, cooked ores, that plus redstone, plus basically anything that looks like it's gone for a furnace. And yes, I know I've put diamonds in there as well. And no, they don't go through furnaces. Um, and then I've, I've just dumped everything else in another chest as well, because I'm too lazy to do anything. But we need a proper storage system. Um, because, uh, well, my stones chest is basically full. Another half a run in the mines will have this chest full. And, yeah, that won't do. Um, I don't really want to be filling up here with chests either, just because it won't look that good. And I know the house isn't absolutely incredible. It is just a starter house and all that kind of thing. But, I want it to look almost decent. So... Yeah, we need to build another building, I guess. Some kind of building out here, maybe make it a huge extension of this. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. But we're not actually going to deal with the storage situation today because, well, we're on a mod pack. So far, pretty much all that I have covered in this series so far, and we're on the third episode, I've only done vanilla stuff. Okay, I brought up the waypoints menu and sort of put in waypoints, but other than that, everything I've done has been completely vanilla. So, time to change that. We're going to set up a nice smelting system so we can essentially double all of this get decent amounts of stuff. Um, so this will be a little bit more full. Yeah, hopefully that goes well. I honestly have no idea. Right, I'm thinking, and I know that's dangerous. First thing we're gonna need, steam dynamo. This is going to be our power source for whatever we do for this smelting setup. It's only gonna be a basic smelter. Uh, uh, I'm stumbling over words. This is just going to be left in, because why not? So, we're going to need, uh, maybe not a redstone furnace, a pulverizer, and an induction smelter. And these are going to be powered using steam dynamos. And the power is going to go through a, some kind of duct. And I can't remember what the ducts are actually called. It's not a fluid duct. It's not an item duct. Is it in impulse item duct? No, I, I, I don't know. How do you transfer power? In thermal. I don't understand. I'm going to actually have to Google this. Okay, quick Google later. Looks like we're going to need leadstone conduits. Which, uh, actually, yeah, that's fairly simple. So, we're fine. First things first, so we need that steam dynamo, so we actually have a power source. So let's smelt up the materials I need to make this recipe. Okay, so here we go. About to make the first 
I've already messed up. Oh, we're about to make the first modded item in the game. There we go. We've now got ourselves a nice steam dynamo. Next up, we're going to need... Where's it gone? I can't remember what it's called. The pulverizer, which is... Oh, I might not actually have enough copper to pull this off. Oh, dear. We've got the flint. Uh, we can do the piston. That's easy. Um, copper might be a little bit of an issue, but yeah, uh, how much copper have I got for you? Oh dear, I'm, I'm just, oh dear. Um, let's just put those two in there, and where's the induction smelter gone? Uh, yeah, put another two in as well, and oh, yeah, copper's gonna be a huge, huge issue. Ah, well, there's a creeper in a cave underneath my house. What the hell? Um, how did, how did they even get in here? There's no spawning spots. It's all just water. Oh, wait, no, it would have spawned on top of that. That makes sense. Fine. Okay, I'm just going to grab this copper as well, because apparently I don't have very much in the... Let me out. Let me out. No, I was going to say, I don't have very much in the way of copper, which... Yeah, considering the amount of mining I've done off camera, that is surprising. I had to leave the house because I needed to get some more sand, because apparently three glass is not enough for the part of the project that I'm currently working on. There we go. A pulverizer. Okay, now we just need this induction smelter and... Oh. Oh, okay. Fine. That is doable. I got a little bit panicky there. I thought, uh, how on earth do you get in I, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's fine. Iron dust and uh, ferrous metal um, pulverized. We can do this. We can do this. I've just thought. We need an aqueous accumulator as well. Um. Uh. How do you make an aqueous aqu accumulator? I'm, I'm just um, deliberately screwing. Aqu Aqueous accumulator. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think I've got enough materials to pull this off because I haven't got the steel. You don't need steel? It takes iron? You mean to say I wasted coal on turning this into steel? Oh dear. So we can start getting you know, uh, production of the induction smelter sorted. I, I set up this basic system and I've also brought a bit of water up here. Yes, I'm well aware of the fact that it doesn't look particularly great. But I've done it anyway. Um, so there will be an aqueous accumulator in here with a fluid duct running into the back of this. That is going to be a thing that happens. But for now, let's just make a lever. Um, let's just put... I thought I heard a spoiler then. Um, let's just grab a ton of this stuff. Throw it into this. <gasps> I can turn it off. Don't know why you would. See, this is gaining energy. Yay. So what we're needing is iron and um, ferrous. Uh, for that to smelt in the induction thingy-ma-bob. So, no, no, no. There we go. Envar blend. So, yeah, two iron, one ferrous. So you, you sort of blend that together and it just works. So, we need ferrous and... Oh. Oh, it's already in my inventory. Don't panic, James. You're panicking too much. Wow, that's actually already pretty quick. I haven't put any upgrades in there. Nice! So we don't actually need 
that to go all the way because we only need a little bit of invar. Um, oh, actually, you need two. So let's see. Let's see, how many do you actually get for this? You get three, which is perfect. So all I need to do is throw that in one of the furnaces. Furnace A? I don't know. Over here? And now we have it. We have a full inventory and some invard lend. I believe I now have everything I need to make this thing. There we go. Go. I was getting a little bit worried to be completely honest with you because my inventory is full like completely full right I'm actually going to turn that off because we don't want to burn through all of our charcoal there do we no that's a fair bit of charcoal for that to burn through and we do want to make an aqueous accumulator as well as uh, some um, aqueducts so, yeah, this can self-water itself. Currently, at the moment, it's got water that I put in there, which is fine. But, no, it's not fine. I messed up. It's not the induction smelter that I need. It's not the induction smelter that I need at all. It's the redstone furnace. Oh, no. All right, for now, we're just going to use these traditional furnaces then, I guess. In light of the bombshell of me screwing up, what type of furnace I need and all that kind of thing. <sighs> I'm actually going to end today's video here. I've just had a look at the amount of footage I've got and it should be enough for about a 10 minute video, which is what I want this to be. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do the normal like, subscribe, comment, standard youtube -y stuff if you want to help support this channel i can't believe i'm about to plug this because i don't normally plug this but uh why not head over to patreon and see what i've got going on over there if you are a, a member of my patreon during the month of january um you will see that you can be a part of my starship project thing you can join the crew of the uss britannia i know that seems like a weird name for a ship uss being a um well, Starfleet thing, which is an American corporation thing now. Uh, and Britannia obviously being Britain. Uh, so if you want to join the, the crew of the Britannia, um, or if you want to know what the Britannia is, just head over to the Starship, Let's Build a Starship series thing that I've got going on over there. I think I explain more details on the video that releases on the 1st of January. Yes, I have a video set to release 1st of January. So things that I'm giving away here as slight spoilers, I guess. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Goodbye. So that's it. We finally gotten started with a little bit of modded. It's taken us way too long to get started with the modded thing. But you know, that's kind of how modded series go. You have to start with vanilla so you can actually get started uh, with the world. Anyway, 20 seconds is nearly up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.